cognitive science has really filled a very important void in actors training. We know so much more today than we did in Stanislavski's time. There's not a doubt in my mind, if Stanislavski were alive today, he'd be reading every cognitive science journal he could get his hands on. The IRIG approach looks at acting from a neurological perspective. It's the only acting system that approaches the challenges of acting by learning about the mechanisms that produce behavior. So as an example, consider that actors are handed a script, which is words on a paper. And now consider that we use different mechanisms for reading than we do for speaking. The reason many actors are bad to mediocre is because they haven't been taught an effective way to transition the information they have read to information that is useful for the mechanisms that produce speech. In order to engage the speaking part of the brain when acting, we use a technique called directed focus. You'll notice when this actor is using directed focus, there's a clear difference in the outcome. Notice the eye movements, the spontaneous micro-expressions as a result of unconscious muscle twitches. These are all organic behaviors that occur when using directed focus. Many acting teachers today ask their students to relive personal experiences to produce emotion, which is not necessarily conducive to general health and well-being. But from the neurological perspective, understanding that the mechanisms of memory and learning are contextually based, we use specific methods to successfully create memories and behaviors for our characters that are naturally compartmentalized. Here's what some trained actors had to say after a workshop on the IRIG approach. Applying for acting made everything feel so much more real and present in this moment now. It, it really helps with a sense of authenticity. It's going to get you a place you're not used to being quicker. And it kind of clears away all the guck and all the other things that could be clouding your like streamlined, like authentic self. <laughs> it made it, it made me like try to elicit that response. Um, and that's something I, I've known that I should do, but I haven't known how to implement it. Um, so that was fascinating. This is such quick and fundamental work that's really effective that once you start layering on actions, you start layering on circumstances and super dreams and stuff like that, then you're like, oh my gosh, this makes so much more sense. You know, it's a great feeling to become competent as an actor. Actors who have attended my workshops, you know, they always say, this approach, it just makes so much sense. And when they say it, it's as if a weight has been lifted. Because this technique takes the mystery out of acting. And it gives actors a direct and reliable, consistent way to create authentic behavior and performance.